Hello. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is, I'm afraid, but it's... And, uh, just making breakfast. But check out this tub of butter. Cool. That will see me to summer. Oh, I forgot to uh, do my hair. I'm back. No, really, you're back. And it's 10 to 2. So that was a nice little walk. Again, it was in the reverse direction around the neighborhood, around the hood. And uh, a nice brisk walk. No stopping, just walking double speed. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, worked up a, uh, you know, adrenaline and stuff. And going back. Good to see the world in the horizons. Then these four walls. Come back and now uh, I'm in the mood to get packing on. Sunday's video, i.e. yesterday's. I keep saying yesterday's and I use yes, I do say the quote unquote, I say yesterday and I'm thinking, the poor of you doesn't know whether I'm talking about uh, Monday when he watches this on Tuesday or is he talking about Sunday, which is what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about Sunday. If you're thinking when I say yesterday and you're watching this on Tuesday, presumably, if I happen to upload this after today, which is on Monday, you get where I'm going here. Yeah, I don't know. 
Hmm. Right, uh, so I've walked in now. Just need to put the big telly on. Here we go. And I've done the file transfers earlier, as you saw. Because they went blank because uh, the device in question was the file holder, the media holder. Quite dry actually. So here we go then, I'm going to listen to Joe Good on uh, BBC Radio London as it's between half one and five. Uh, i just have it a background while I... we have the headphones on, obviously. So I can... hear what's going on. <laughs> I don't have to explain it. Headphones are headphones, aren't they? Right, all that is left to remain is to open the editor, video editor, which is still shortcut. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the shortcut now. It does a lot. It does exactly what all the big editors do. With the, with the exception of the VFX of course, but editing wise you can export really high quality stuff mind you the quality hasn't been that high of late since the uh, the April upgrade so I just have to be patient and see how it pans out maybe the next upgrade will address it not that I've seen it in the forums that the quality has dropped anyway Software is loaded. half past four and it's going to take about three hours at least so that's not bad going so I'll come in here to take a break well, not, I won't come in here just to sit down and relax I'll come in here to <laughs> make chili con carne on toast and then I'll carry on listening to Joe Good it's about half an hour left of her show and I think it's Half an hour where she passes it on to somebody else anyway. Although it's part of her show, she doesn't do anything for that last half an hour. So I might actually tune in to Craig Charles on Six Music. Yeah. Right. Dishes to wash. over an hour ago it's about half past nine now um, while it was doing all that I watched the rest of Boys from Brazil which was really good uh, then I started watching but I, I was aware that there's a couple of dramas that I um, sort of download so I don't forget about them I remember when I downloaded 
Well, when I downloaded one, it said there was an expiry date. So I, I found two that have expiry dates sometime in May, around 12th and 15th. Around the 12th of May mark. Uh, Blood, starring Adrian Dunbar, and I think it's called Into the Darkness with Anne Duff, I believe. They both got expiry dates, but Blood is three days, I think it will, yeah, I think it expires before into the darkness. So I've seen the first two episodes of Blood and it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. I mean, Agent Dunway is brilliant, but the cast, oh, very good acting. And the writing as well is top notch. Oh, so much. Well, it's a it's one of these thrillers that did he or didn't he sort of thrillers. Um, something just happened in the second episode which I didn't expect, which sort of thrown the whole thing upside down. I mean, it's it's all just um, distracted from the main issue. But wow, it's absolutely brilliant. Then, for some reason, um. Well, no, I was looking at uh, the show on Wikipedia, read up on it, and the way it was, I saw the credits, and I saw it was created and written by the same person. And I thought, oh, I've never heard of this person before. Somebody pet, so I've forgotten the first name. And um, when I looked into her biography, it brought up something that ITV have commissioned it's called um, Hollington Drive ITV have commissioned it in February to be filmed later on in the year and it's a, a four-parter I thought now who directs four-parters two years in a row Cheat and Flesh and Blood and I'm thinking Oh my god, maybe Lewis Hooper's gonna direct this. So I thought, wow. I tried to find if there's a connection between the writer and the director, but there isn't at the moment. And haven't in February when they did a press release, they said um, the rest of the crew and the cast will be revealed in due course. But this was three months ago. And nothing's come to light yet, but I have to keep a a check on Hollington, Hollington Drive. So I think it's going to be Louis Hooper. Probably not. It's a long shot, but I mean, I didn't know she was going to die fresh and blood up the road. You know, so it's a coincidental. I've got a good I have a feeling she's what with the. This coronavirus, everything's delayed anyway. They can't announce anything until production. Everything's in development hell at the moment. But if it, if we do get for this virus, this plague, and all the productions get, you know, carry on. The rules of the industry start turning again. And we'll soon find out who's attached to this new four-parter. Right, so uh, I'm about to watch episode three. There's only five episodes, funny enough, not six. I don't know why it's five episodes. Uh, so I've, I've done to watch the third episode or watch my video that, that's just come, that went up at ten past eight. This is yesterday's vlog, so I'm back on track again. Oops, excuse me. Yeah. I think I might watch my video just to give me a break from this. Excuse me. Right. That's what I'll do. I'll, uh, I've got a full point. I'll grab a quick 
quick and crisp and, uh, and watch it. Yeah. I'm going to have a, a ready meal but I don't know when, probably on the 10 o'clock mark. Yeah, it'll be the chili con kind of with rice. Yeah, that way it's three different ready meals in a row. Okay, here we go. Bag of crisp. I was um, going through the TV guide earlier, just the radio stations. I think I was looking for seeing who the DJs were at this uh, at this time. Um, don't know what we were doing. I thought I've forgotten why I did it, but when I was going down the stations, I stopped at BBC Radio Wells. I found that Janice Long was the uh, works there now because she got the boot from Radio 2 a couple of years ago and I wonder what happened to her and uh, she just cropped up in the TV guide there uh, on the Radio Wells. Well I found my video, here we go. Did I mention, <laughs> I just was mentioned in the vlog I was uh, watching, I was watching, I am watching, I just paused, just paused it, I talk about Killing Eve and I thought oh my gosh did I mention that I saw uh, Killing Eve earlier over my chili con carne on toast, uh, if not then yeah I saw Killing Eve earlier. So, okay, I'm gradually catching you know, I'm starting to catch up on my dramas and recordings. I almost watched Midnight Run because that's the next one I've recorded. And then I thought, oh no, don't forget the dramas with the expiry dates, you know, see them first. There's only two, as I said, once they're done, then I can start. Go back to the recordings. There's recordings and there's downloads. I don't know if they're the same thing. I don't think they appear in the same chronological order. They're in two different parts on Sky, it seems. That's a point. I don't know what's on the TVs. I play anyway. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Right, back to the video. I'm just watching my video again and again it reminded me of something. In fact, yeah, earlier today I said um, I'm, I'm going to have a ready meal, uh, chicken carne with rice. What I forgot to mention was that yesterday, I didn't mention it in the vlog, but Yesterday I did have um, spaghetti bolognese ready meal, but I didn't film it. Uh, so I wasn't sure if I was going to have a sandwich or not. But um, so I was working out. I had ten slices. I had two, two for the uh, 
I had two for the marmalade on toast, so that left eight pieces, eight, eight slices. And what I thought, what I decided, I think yesterday, when I had the spaghetti was, if I have spaghetti, then the eight slices can be used over two days. Today, I have four big beans and chili con carne and chili con carne with rice pretty meal. So and four tomorrow, Tuesday, the same. And I probably have uh, the chicken tikka masala because I uh, have a different one every day. Which means on Wednesday I have nothing at all. So I'll have to go out and get uh, a loaf and hopefully get some dash canning as well. I thought, oh, I forgot to, I'm watching the video, I'm thinking, I didn't mention what I decided on uh, as I know yesterday. And here's me earlier talking about having chili con carne because I already had spaghetti, but I didn't mention it that I had it yesterday. Not that it's important, but it's, uh, Vital, not vital, but it's um, when you're grasping for footage with the blog, um, so it's good to film it or talk about it. And it's very hot this, this evening. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's very hot. I'm going to leave windows open because. Well, there's a main road there, and I don't like it. It's noisy, and I don't want us to be covering the locks of getting in. I feel like I'm not in this place. Hmm. and I've put the uh, oven on for 10 minutes so I've preheat it so that I'll pop the uh, chili con carne with rice in in about 10 minutes Chili con carne with rice. And if you can see it, it smells quite nice actually. 